Oh, you are actually ready, okay. <laughs> Sorry. So, yeah, what I want to explain for the next uh, few minutes is something about bank shots. And of course, for bank shots, feeling is the most thing you are, which is required to make very good bank shots. I mean, you need a nice stroke and lots of feeling. You can, you can basically also work a little bit with systems when you have to deal with kick shots, okay? Then systems are quite good. You need feeling and some systems in your repertoire. But uh, if it's about bank shots, then feeling is even more important. And, but I just want to give you a little bit more, uh, some reference lines for bank shots, okay? What is the reference line for bank shot? I mean, normally you can use those diamonds here on the table, and when you go from two to one, which uh, is like income angle, outcome angle, then you know it, it should be a straight in bank, but it works only when you play very softly. Very softly. And you normally not play. You normally do not uh, play a bank shot softly like that. Maybe in bank pool you do, because it's good, uh, it's okay if the object ball, if you miss, stays in front of the pocket, or in eight ball as well. But not in nine ball, not in ten ball. Then you play usually harder. And if you then play from two diamond to one diamond, and you play harder, then, of course, it comes too short. So, when is a shot straight in, in nine ball, as a bank shot, or in ten ball, when you play hard? Then you have to make an adjustment like a quarter of a diamond when you come from number two. So, from two goes to one, a quarter diamond adjustment. So, if you have anywhere on this line, the cue ball and the object ball, anywhere on this line, then you know, uh-huh, it's a straight in bank shot. You just play without any spin, straight in. And if you miss it like this, then it was that I didn't hit it very accurate. Let's give it another try. Here's the quarter, here's the cue ball, that's the line. Maybe I was also hitting it a little bit too hard. Anyway, so if you go from two to one, it's a quarter adjustment. Logically, if you come from two, uh, from four diamonds to two diamonds, it should be two quarters of adjustment. So a half diamond. Anywhere on this line, okay, and you know, uh huh, it's a straight in bank. Anywhere on this line, a little bit more here, so that the cue is actually in the center of the pocket, which is then the diamond. And then, you know, just hit it straight. And you see if you hit it straight, by, uh, if the cue ball doesn't move to the right or to the left, then it's a straight in bank. If you just use this kind of speed, which is like speed three, three and a half table lengths. And if you go to six diamonds, Income outcome angle would be three. From two to one, we had a quarter. From four to two, we had two quarters. From six to three, we have three quarters of a diamond as an adjustment. So anywhere on this line from six to this point should be a straight in bank shot. Let's check this out. So the Q should be above this diamond and then just hit it straight. Next would be logically, if you go from eight to four, there is no rail anyway, then we need four quarters, which is a full diamond of an adjustment. So anywhere from this line, and you have to recognize that the diamond is not here, there on the corner there are always two diamonds, and it's one diamond here coming from that rail and one diamond here coming from that rail. And we use, of course, that diamond. So we go from that diamond to this one, one diamond adjustment. Anywhere on this line, if you have a ball, anywhere on this line, 
then you know, huh, it's a straight in bank shot. Okay, like this. Here's some chalk. You should try that. Well, I cheated a little bit and it was always a little, a little bit short because when you're coming to wide angles like that, then of course the, Q, the object ball does not go so much deep into the rail. So you have to cheat a little bit here by using a little bit side spin, but not too much. I almost cheated too much. And on soft rails it is still absolutely straight in shot. Wait a minute, here it is. That's a shot. That's absolutely straight. Okay, and of course, if you have those lines as standard lines in your mind, then you can judge all other situations a little bit better. For example, so this, oh, this is almost on the line, so go a little bit more like that. Uh, if this is a standard line and yet now you are here, then I know I have to shoot softer and maybe use a little bit of side spin here. Then I know I still can get it. So, if you know the reference lines, you can also judge the other angles a little bit better. So that's all. And the rest, of course, is lots of feeling which is required and a nice a little stroke for making good bang shots. Give it a try, and for myself, I like to continue as well and play a little bit more. Thank you.